Hi and welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about what is, what is the thousand separator in Excel and then how to apply the thousand separator in Excel. Okay, here we are back on our mileage worksheet. We will be using this as the example to answer and, ha and learn today's um, learning outcomes. But before we do any of that, let's have a look at today's question. The question is asking us to format cell B22 as a number with a separator for thousands and two decimal places. So basically it's asking us to separate the thousands. So if there was a value for 4,309, it's asking us to somehow separate the 4,000. So I hope you've understood the question because understanding the question is the first most important thing. You can't carry out a task if you do not understand the question. Now let's go back on our mileage worksheet. Before I demonstrate how to apply this, the first thing we need to do is understand what is this thousand separator. Now, this is a cell the question is asking us to carry out this task on, B22, which we did in the previous lesson. If you remember, we used the autosum to get this answer. But I'm just going to show you what the question is really asking us or what does the thousand separator mean generally. Now if I was to retype this figure manually, what it is asking us to do is have 4000 and then use some sort of separator. So I can use a comma like we normally do with a thousand separator. So that's the thousand separator and then type in 309. Now this is me doing it manually, but this is what this thousand separator is referring to, this comma that is separating the thousand from the rest of the value. So 4,000, so the comma is the separator for the 4,000, and then 309. I repeat, 4,309. The reason we have the thousand separator is just makes makes it so easy for us to read any value rather than just having it as a four digit number you know sometimes you just got to work out is it 4000 or is it 43000 it's a bit of a guessing game so having the thousand separator in there it just makes our life so much easier reading numbers now coming to the real question of the day it is asking us i'm just going to delete this it is asking us to format, bear with me, uh, let's go back to the question just to remind you, format cell B22 as a number with two, with thousand, with a separator for thousands and two decimal places. Okay, so we've got the question. So first thing we do, we select the cell that we want to format. Now any cell that requires formatting, please remember, because in future I may do another lesson, again it may be about formatting a cell in Excel. Any formatting, we go to the Home tab and it's carried out in this group called the Number group. Now when I'm, when I'm teaching or I'm demonstrating certain tasks, um, I ask you to open a group because by opening the group it just shows you the whole picture as to what is happening rather than using these shortcuts that are displayed here. So I'm going to avoid these for now but by all means when you're an expert you know what you're doing of course you can use these shortcuts. So I'm going to ask you to open the number group the question was asking us to format this value as number. So we need to select number from the, from the list. And then after that, all I have to do is select this little option here that says use a thousand separator. 
Now you can see in brackets there's a comma as well telling you what the thousand separator will look like. Now here's our sample, so keep an eye on the sample. The sample is always taken from the cell that you have selected, so 4309. So if I click on there, keep an eye on the sample, let's see what happens. You can see it's put a little comma after the four, just like before when I was typing it in manually. So 4309.00. The question was asking us to change the value to two, two decimal places. Now Excel has by default has put in two decimal places but again if it didn't have two decimal places all you have to do is change the zero in there by using the arrows or you can type it in um, in there manually uh, i prefer using the arrows so much quicker and then look at the sample now you have 4000 so after the four there's a comma 309 Point zero zero. Remember, that's your two decimal places. We discussed decimal places in another lesson. So we are happy with this sample because if you're not, you don't have to click on OK till you're happy with your sample. But I am, and I'm sure you are as well because you're following these lessons with me. So once you're happy with it, by clicking on OK, Excel will automatically format this. Let's have a look. There we go. So you can see now it's been... It's been separated. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to show you 4000 with the comma 309.00. But if you look in the formula bar, it's the sum function that you have used in the previous lesson. So that's how you use the thousand separator. Um, we don't type them in manually because if you type them in manually and you type in a different value, it will not change automatically. So every cell you should format using the number group accordingly. And that takes us to the end of the lesson. So please do like and share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you over in the next lesson. Please take care and goodbye.